up in here. Mm -hmm. It's real cold this morning, especially in the Pikes Peak region. So we've got overcast skies. It's cold. We know that, but it's also pretty breezy out there. Light snow is in the forecast for this evening. Now we are going to see some late week warming trends. We are also going to then transition into the best weekend of the year so far. I think that that's what this is going to be through the weekend. We're talking like 70s and some 80s. Great for hiking, great for going out with the family, like a movie. We had a couple movies, like Bruce talking about the Super Mario movie. So, like, there's just lots of good outdoor and then citywide stuff you could do with everybody through the weekend. This morning, though, pretty rough outside. You know, 5 degrees in Woodland Park and then 8 to 10 degrees up in northern El Paso County. Black Forest feeling it a little bit more than anyone else. In fact, the airport's twice as warm as Black Forest, not that... 15 is any warmer, but it's certainly not seven and you know, we're like <laughs> 20 degrees warmer out there in Pueblo. So everybody's cold. No matter where you go this morning, you're going to find cold air and thankfully the winds are really a lot lighter. Broadly through Colorado Springs, the wind gusts are below 15 miles per hour. Even Lyman has been a little less windy within the last 20 minutes. Now the high temperatures today are not expected to be very warm. We could start with a little sunshine but we should bring more clouds in through the day. The afternoon looks pretty overcast and that's going to be a limiting factor for high temperatures. Now today and tonight, a little bit of snow is going to drop in. I had to broad brush the Pikes Peak region, Castle Rock in Denver with a dusting to an inch or a dusting to two inches because there's some snow banding that's trying to come in. Now, Current models say that snow band wants to set up on a diagonal from Manitou out through Briargate and into Falcon. So theoretically, that could be this narrow little corridor through the west and north side of the springs and surrounding towns that gets closer to two inches. We know a lot of the snow will be light, but we're accounting for areas wherever that snow band lands to get closer to two inches in total. So not much snow, not really much of an evening commute impact because the snow starts up late today and it continues tonight, but it's just such a light amount coming so slowly. I don't think it's going to really make your roads too bad tonight. We know that we're going to get so much nicer through the weekend. 70s on Saturday, Sunday and actually close to 80 on Tuesday. Pueblo going to be in the upper 50s Thursday. 70s on Friday and Saturday and then close to 80 or close to 90 actually on Tuesday. So Tuesday into Wednesday mid to upper 80s coming on back and it's only a matter of time until we pull that first 90 into Pueblo. I think that warmer ridge pattern will dry the grasses out even more but there won't be as much wind. So kind of intermittent fire danger through the weekend and next week. Canyon City is dry looking through the entire next seven days. Just so much warmer through time. Woodland Park two inches or less today and tonight, and then we are dry through the extended. It's so beautiful by Monday.